So, after I spoke uh, at Nanaimo, at the Power Talks event there, Charlene contacted me and she asked if I could do a business-focused talk for Vancouver. So I said, sure, I'd be happy to. But what's interesting is that as more and more time went by, I, was, I realized that I was putting off sitting down and actually writing this talk. And the reason why I was putting off writing this talk was because I knew deep down it meant actually facing and talking about some of the difficult challenges that I had last year in business from behind the lens of my video camera that it, I did not always talk about before. But I'm happy to say that, don't worry, I did actually finish writing the talk. I am prepared, it's right there. And now I'm happy to share some of these challenges with you and the lessons that I learned from them so that you can learn from them as well. So lesson number one comes from a piece of advice that I always tell my clients when I'm working with them on camera. I always let my clients know that the gold comes from those moments of imperfection. It's the times when you let your guard down and you are 100% yourself. So who here enjoys watching blooper reels, <laughs> right? These are those times when somebody has let their guard down, they're themselves, and they're enjoying it. They're having a good time. And there's something that we can't help but be drawn to when we see somebody that's actually taking that chance, right? Let me put this in another way. How many of you have seen the film about the girl that just decided to play it safe, not venture outside of her comfort zone, and she stayed the same throughout the entire movie. <laughs> and it was an Oscar winner. But what's interesting though is that in business, we do not always think this way. In business, a lot of us suffer from this need to be perfect, and I will tell you from firsthand experience that this is not sustainable. <laughs> so, rewind to January of 2015, a year ago. And I had set my revenue targets for the year and I had broken them down monthly. I had even broken them down weekly. And I was getting out there and I was networking like crazy. And week after week, I kept on coming just short of my targets. And week after week, I could feel my energy, my happiness, and my confidence slowly being chipped away at. So a few months went by and I was really tired. So I decided, it's time to take a break. So my fiance and I went down to Arizona for five days for a little rest and relaxation. So we went down there, we had a good time, but something funny happened on the flight back home because I got on that plane and I sat down in my chair and as the flight was taking off, I burst into tears because I had forgotten to look for the gold. I had forgotten to celebrate these moments of imperfection that I was having and realize how much that I was actually learning from these experiences. So for example, every time I had a sales call that didn't result in a sale, my focus would turn to how this was hitting, this was cutting into my revenue targets for the month instead of focusing on how much this was actually teaching me about sales. Every time I had a client who requested multiple rounds of feedback edits, again, my focus would turn to how this was going to affect my goals for the month instead of realizing how much this person was teaching me about the importance of client expectations and the importance of setting up the right types of processes in your business. Lesson number two, be passionate. So what I love about working with entrepreneurs is that they love what they do and this comes across so well on camera. <laughs> you can see it in their eyes and this is what connects them to their ideal clients because they can see that they care. So when I'm working with somebody, I always say to get into whatever it is that you're talking about, take whatever script that you have in your head and throw it out the window. Rewind again to September of 2015. <laughs> My fiance and I are yet again driving home, uh, coming home. This time we're coming home from a Soyuz where my parents live. And we were visiting them for the long weekend. And over that uh, three days, I was thinking again a lot about work. I was thinking about sales. I was thinking about my revenue targets. But I wasn't thinking a whole lot about the actual art of making videos. And I hadn't really done that in a while. And I remember sitting in the car, turning to my fiance and saying to him, I don't want to do this anymore. 
I don't want to do this anymore because I had lost my passion. I had forgotten the reason why I started Whisper Media in the first place. I started my business because I love filmmaking and I love the impact that videos can have on people and the world. But what was interesting though is in saying I didn't want to do this anymore, it made me, made me really think about what this actually was. So when I got back home, I started to clear my schedule and I started to do something which was very difficult for me at the time, which was delegating. <laughs> so I called up my assistant Shannon and I said, Shannon, by the end of the month, I want to be doing this, this and this, please take care of the rest. And this was a huge step for me because it meant actually letting go. It meant letting go of the things that I thought I needed to control. But in business, in order to grow, in order to be successful, we cannot do it alone. We need to delegate and we need that support. So after taking these steps, I was then able to free up some time and I started having coffees with other filmmakers and having conversations about the different projects that we were working on. And the movies we had seen recently and the various things that we enjoyed about that movie. And slowly, I could start to feel this passion for what I do start to come back. So today, I still have my wonderful assistant, Shannon, who takes care of various admin tasks for me. And I also have a goal this year to create a short documentary film and submit it to a film festival. Thank you. But... If I had not taken that time in the first place to really figure out what it was, what is this that I don't want to be doing anymore and then delegate accordingly and find the support, I would not be standing right here right now because I would have quit my business. Lesson number three comes from a quote from the filmmaker Jean-Luc Godard who said that film is truth 24 times a second. So what he means by this from a technical standpoint is you have 24 frames that pass through a camera to make one second of film. And I love this quote because it speaks to how film is able to capture such subtle details that are missed in everyday life. And it's the small things. It's how somebody smiles. It's how somebody looks from side to side. All of these things reveal a certain truth about the person or a situation or an event. So I now like to take this quote and adjust it slightly to say that entrepreneurship is truth 24 hours a day. <laughs> because if you lose your passion or if you're bogged down with trying to be perfect, your business will suffer. So it is crucial every single day to stop and ask yourself what it is that you value, what do you stand for, and what do you want out of not only business but out of life as well. So now that we've talked a little bit about business, let's get down to business so you can hear my ask. So I am passionate, again, about what I do. And I am looking to work with more business owners. But I understand that it's not always easy to get in front of the camera. Sometimes it's pretty damn hard. So I will be putting on a workshop to get entrepreneurs comfortable in front of the camera and have them to come across as their authentic, passionate, and wonderfully imperfect selves. So. If you are willing to invest in yourself in 2016 and you want to use video as a way to grow your business, then please come see me at my table at the break. Thank you.